Hello, in this third video of our Getting Started with Golan series, we are going to go through how to configure the Go version used by our project and then how to run the application, test or benchmark. In Golan, each project is configured to use a Go SDK. The SDK can be configured when we are creating the project or after using the IDE settings. Once we've configured the location of the Go SDK, it can be shared across all our projects to make it easy to reuse it. There can be multiple Go SDK versions that Goland is aware of and we can upgrade or downgrade them at any time in our project. If a new version of Go is available, then Goland can download and install it, which is one less thing to worry about. Now that our Go SDK is in place and configured, let's have a look at how we can run our application. The first step could be to open the built-in terminal window and start typing go run or go build commands. And this would work, as Golan will correctly set the Go root, Go path, and our system's path to include the Go binary, as well as everything from Go path bin. But since Golan is an IDE, and IDEs are great at helping us to do stuff we need to, we can run applications straight from the IDE using one of the following methods. We could use the run shortcut and start the application, test or benchmark. We can click on the green run arrow next to the editor gutter on places such as func main or a test name. We could right click on the project folder and then use run from the menu options. We can use the run button right there on the toolbar. We could even go to the run menu and choose run from there. Finally, we could also use the search everywhere feature to launch one of the previously created configurations. Any of these methods will launch the application, test or benchmark, and what Goland will do is to run go build and then the resulting binary for us. And there's more. Goland will create what's known as a run configuration, which can be customized to include environment variables, flags for the Go compiler, flags for our application, and more. Go applications, as well as Go tests, run configurations can be created and configured this way. We can even create a Go remote configuration to debug applications that run on remote hosts or in containers. Multiple run configurations of the same type can be created that allow us to run the application or test with the flags or feature settings that we need. If there are common settings between these run configurations, then we can use the template section to set predefined values specific to our project, then every new configuration that is created will also inherit these values. Debugging applications is similar to running them, and we'll see all the features that Golan supports in greater detail in a future video dedicated only to the debugger. Running or debugging tests works the same way as for applications. We can also execute tests with coverage, which is useful to see if our tests reach the code we want or not. If we approach writing code using a test-driven methodology, then we can enable the tests to run automatically after our changes are done and get those red marks into green ones. Finally, if performance is important for our application, Golan provides a way to run tests and benchmarks using the pprof profiler and then display the results. By default, a flame graph is shown, but we can also view the data in different ways and filter the information available. With profilers such as the CPU, memory, mutex or blocking ones, our application will be as performant as possible in no time. We'll go into details on how to use the profiler in a future video. This concludes our third video from the series. We've seen how we can manage the Go version straight from the IDE, run our applications, use the IDE to work in a test-driven style, and then profile it to make sure that our code is as fast as it needs to be. In the upcoming videos, we'll have a closer look at how to use the debugger and the profiler, as well as how to use the built-in inspections, refactorings, and other productivity features to quickly develop high-quality code. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them in the section below, send us a ticket on our issue tracker, or reach out to us on our social media channels.